back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top 10 fragrances for the summertime. So, if you want to see all the sexy, because most of these are sexy, your girl loves to ooze a little sex appeal in the summertime. So, if you want to see what my top picks are, please keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely like this video if you enjoy the content and helps to boost my channel to the rest of the world. I am so excited to share my top 10 scents for summer. I am a fragrance lover, you guys. I try to put myself on fragrance bands. It just doesn't work. I recently redid my room. The pieces for this room are still trickling in, but the first piece that I had to get up was my fragrance cabinet and it is filled. I'm going to have to buy more shelving to put in it because my collection is just ever growing. Also, let me know down below if you would like to see an updated fragrance collection. I have amassed quite a few over the past year uh, since I've done my last one. But today, we're talking about my top 10 for summer. I love a good sexy, sweet scent, but also some of these are more everyday and just easy going. I love a scent that just transcends my mind, body and soul to just a happy moment in my life. There's nothing better than going out for dinner in the summertime with your girls or your guy or whoever and they just remark on a beautiful, sexy scent. And I don't know what it is. I think my body chemistry does sweet, sexy scents very well because I'm so hot in nature. They just warm up fabulously, so I'm so excited. Today I'm gonna be sharing some. Most of these you guys have seen, a few are newer to my collection and there will be one honorable mention that is back there waiting to be unboxed in my second haul of the month for my birthday, my luxury haul. Let's start with these, let's get into this video. The first First one I want to start with is the scent of the summer for sex appeal. It's sweet. It smells like caramel. Men love this scent. If you want a date night scent for the summertime, Giorgio Armani C. Now I know you're probably like, girl, what? That is nothing new. And you're right. This is an older scent. It is more of a classic scent. It's one that I think is under loved here in the fragrance community. But when I tell you, even when I go out with friends, people remark, men will stop and ask me what this scent is because it's so beautiful. I always say this reminds me of a grown up Prada candy. It's caramel. It's a little bit of musk. It's vanilla. It might have some fresh notes in it, but this is just what I wear at night when it's hot and I'm gonna be sitting outside on a patio, <laughs> but I want to just smell sweet and sexy and yummy. Giorgio Armani C, you can't go wrong with it. This is a staple in my collection. I know I haven't used too much, but it's because I have a sizable collection of fragrance and I honestly have probably never used up a single fragrance. Okay, let's share one that is probably not often thought about as a summer scent. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. This is Swiss Arabian Shaga Food. So this is a scent that is more likely spoken about in the fall and winter. This is praline, oud, chocolate, maybe some vanilla. This is sweet and smoky but it's really, really heavy. So this is like going out like to the club, like gallivanting, but wanting to smell very strong, powerful, and amazing. It's sweet, it's sexy, it's very strong. It's also androgynous. I love a good androgynous scent. Once again, you don't think about this being a summer scent, but I love her in the summer because she's just so powerful. Like I love a sweet, powerful scent. Ugh. This is just beautiful. A lot of people really find this to be too strong. I think this is very polarizing. It's just like, um, not in the same scent category, but it's almost like uh, Theory Mugler's Alien. You either hate it or love it. I love this and I rock her every summer at night. She is just fabulous. Okay, next is a newer scent that I got for my birthday, my anniversary. This is another Moogler. Well, I haven't shared one in this video, but I was just speaking about Moogler. This is Moogler's Angel Nova. Angel was the first scent I ever got in my life, like a true fragrance. This smells nothing like Angel. This smells like 
musky fruity floral i thought it would be like the honorable mention which i'm gonna mention next i was unsure when i first smelled it because i thought it would be too much like the one i'm gonna talk about next but she is amazing she reminds me of being on a beach on vacation like with your guy or your girl whoever you date marry what have you and just smelling so sexy and flirtatious and it has a little bit of coconut in it i believe but it's musky it's a heavier fruity floral and it this is summer in a bottle it doesn't remind me of angel at all which is good or bad for me it's good because that scent i just think of being a child but this one is very very beautiful and i love it it's definitely summer in a bottle okay up next we have the scent that i wear on every anniversary uh if this is your first video of mine you're watching you may not know i call birthdays anniversaries because anniversaries are every year and i feel like Birthdays are more special than just a birthday. It's the anniversary of your birth. I wear this scent every single anniversary. This is Bond Number no. Nine's Aster Place. You've been watching my channel for years. You would know that I, in fact, wear this every summer for my birthday. My birthday's in the summer, so automatically this is a summer scent. I really don't wear this scent too often outside of my birthday, but this was the first Bond Number no. 9 scent that I ever acquired. I remember going into Saks Fifth Avenue and trying the line. I took the cap off, I sprayed it on a fragrance card, and I screamed. This is regal, it's violet, it's a floral with violet. It smells like opulence, it's androgynous, it's beautiful. This scent is my birthday scent every year because it's how I want to feel. Regal, fabulous, like you just, oh, it's such a fabulous scent. I'm not really into Bond Number no. 9 anymore. It's not that I don't like the line. I've just ventured onto other uh, houses, fragrance houses, but Bond Number no. 9 Aster Place will always be one of my favorite scents for the summertime. I like to wear it on special occasions. The bottle pretty much accurately depicts how you will feel when you wear this scent. If you haven't noticed by now, when I think of fragrance, it's about the emotion that it evokes. It's not really about the notes because things smell differently according According to your specific body chemistry but this makes me feel like this bottle vibrant exuberant um, happy just fabulous gold regal love it love it love it definitely a favorite for summer okay next we have another newer scent to my collection and I purchased this in the springtime this is Hugo Boss for her the private accord Maybe I've mixed up the wording, but basically it's Hugo Boss, the private accord for her. This is Mandarin, Musk, and Chocolate. I love this scent. I wore this this year. My friend and I did a staycation for my birthday, and it smells like nothing else that I've ever tried. It's Mandarin, it's Mandarin and Chocolate. It's light enough, but it has a depth to it. So whereas this lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts, this one isn't gonna last too long. It's an Eau de Parfum, I believe, but to me, it's more of like an Eau de Toilette. It's definitely a scent that I would wear to do something kind of chic and casual, but she is just a different take on summer. She's citrusy a little bit and chocolatey. She's fun and playful without going the traditional coconut route or the fruity floral. She's fruity but in a different way. This is so unique and I love it. Especially, look at the bottle. The bottle is just fabulous. I'm all about packaging and how the fragrance makes me feel. And this makes me feel so fun and chic and just fresh. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't speak about the honorable mention. So I told you guys I'll be doing another haul, like a luxury haul coming up, maybe a week or so. That is going to feature the next scent, which is the honorable mention. And that would be uh, Tiziana Terenzi Talea. And I will pop a picture in the screen. I first tried that scent mm, maybe the beginning of this year. I'll link that video down below. I got a sample of it. That is summer in a bottle i was worried that it would smell too much like angel nova but it smells different different enough to justify having both that is the most intense fruity floral musk 
It's very androgynous, it's very strong, it's very powerful and sexy. It is a heavy hitter. I sprayed it in my room and I could smell it for days. It's such a lovely scent. Now it's very expensive. I purchased it from So Avant Garde when they were having like a 30% off sale. I used one of my girl's coupons. Shout out to AI The Great. I will link her channel and her coupon code down below. But I haven't opened it yet because I'm waiting to unbox it properly in that luxury video. But that is a scent that I can see myself definitely wearing every summer even decanting it and taking it on vacation it is a heavy hitting androgynous powerful fruity floral with musk she's regal she's musky she's powerful she's like a summer goddess in saint barth like i mean we love her Okay, my next scent, let's go with my number one fragrance of all time. And if you've been watching my fragrance videos, you already know what I'm talking about. It's none other than Maison Francis Kirkshaw Baccarat Rouge 540, or affectionately known here on my channel as Sexy Band-Aids. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my gosh, everyone and their mother has this fragrance. Now, I live in Atlanta. Now, I don't, I don't claim to be a cool kid. I don't hang in circles around people who are really into the popular things. I've only smelled this fragrance on probably about three people since knowing what it smells like. So while I think it is a very popular scent in the YouTube world, in my everyday life, many people, they know what it is, but there are not too many times where I smell people wearing it. So. I'm not really turned off by that because this is my favorite scent in the entire world. It's androgynous, it smells like sexy band-aids, it's ambergris and juniper, I believe, or that might be another one. It's ambergris, it's musk, it's sweet, it's deep, it's powerful, it's rich, it smells like an old school band-aid, but sexy. Like I said, it's very androgynous. You and your guy, you and your girl, whoever can wear this, a sea monkey could wear it. And the sea monkey would be oozing in like fabulosity. This is a deep, dark scent with a little bit of sweetness in it. This I love. And I traditionally love it for the fall and winter, but at night in the summertime, you can't go wrong. She is an attention getter though. So if you like to be more understated and you don't want people coming up to you, I get it. Sometimes I have those vibes as well. I wouldn't wear this fragrance, but you want to set yourself apart from the crowd, Baccarat Rouge 540, but I don't smell this all too often, but even if I did, it would be a fave. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, next we have my first Louis Vuitton fragrance. Sneak peek, I have another Louis Vuitton fragrance I'm sharing in my next anniversary birthday haul. This is a Trap Rave. And you guys know, in that video where I unboxed it, I looked up the pronunciation because I'm a stickler for things like that. Just, you know, growing up, I always had to pronounce things correctly and enunciate. And I feel like if I'm gonna be sharing a video where I might be informing some of you all about this fragrance, maybe you've never heard of it, I don't want to misinform you. So I like to pronounce things correctly if I can. And this is a French word or two French words. They're not usually in my vocabulary, but it is pronounced attractive. And this is, ugh. It's a chocolate rose. I wore this on Valentine's Day. This just reminds me of a sexy date night. I also like wearing it to bed. She's a good one. Very sweet and syrupy and intense, long lasting. She lasts forever and ever. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I don't find that too many women who have Louis Vuitton scents have this one. I think the most uh, common or popular rose scent from Louis Vuitton is Rose de Vent. I love this one, Rose de Vents, or Rose de Vent. It didn't really last on me. This one lasts forever and it smells like a chocolate rose. It is not your grandmother's rose. I do not say that to be offensive, but a lot of times when I think women think of rose, they think of an older, like very, very mature rose. This is a beautiful, soft, feminine rose. Very sweet and sexy and she smells perfect on warmed up skin in the summer. Mm, I'm so excited. My next scent is one that I did not think I was going to like in the summertime until I wore it a few days ago. And this is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I purchased this, I think, in the winter time or the spring time of 2020. 2020 or much of it was a blur. Um, I don't remember a lot of the events because I was inside at home doing not much. But I remember Pockets and Bows here on YouTube raving about this fragrance. And we like 
pretty similar scent profiles. Everything that she likes, I don't necessarily like, but usually nine times out of 10, if she shares a scent, I'm gonna love it. So she was raving about this. So I bought it. No, 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 I bought a sample on eBay, which I tend to do, but then I purchased the big bottle because this is so beautiful. This is a Floriental fragrance. So if you love a spicy note with a sexy, sweet floral, you will love this. I am really not too much into Floriental, so I was surprised that I liked it, but Something about it is just so beautiful. It's long lasting on me. I don't like too many Valentino scents, but this one is really, really beautiful. And I think it just smells so beautiful. I always know I'm gonna love a fragrance when it smells nice on my hot body because I run very hot. And then the bottle is just so badass. I mean, hello. We love her, she's so good. Okay, you guys. So those are all my scents that I wanted to share. Oops, I have one that I forgot to share. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself. This is Maison Francis Kirkjean Aqua Celestia. Now, I forgot about this one because it's one of my favorites for summer, but it's not one of my favorite scents overall because it's very safe. This smells like a fresh lemon lime citrus zest. I will be honest. This is my pool scent, and I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, this scent is so expensive to be wearing to the pool, but I go to my pool all the time, and I'm that girl that wears a scent everywhere. I don't care if I'm going on a walk, if I feel so inclined to smell beautiful and feel beautiful, I'm gonna wear a scent. This is usually my scent when I'm by the water, as the name suggests, Aqua Celestia. It's very tart aquatic and citrusy. It's very androgynous. I could see a man wearing this and loving it as well, um, but it's definitely my pool scent. A really nice, fresh, tart, citrusy, aquatic scent. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's the end of my favorite scents for summer. Let me know down below which are some of your favorites as well. Do you like some of these? I'm always in the market for new scents, so definitely leave me some recommendations. I love you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.